From now on, Holy Father, not my will, but your will be done. I said, Father, you have chosen me. Give me the strength to obey. I will follow you no matter what it takes. If you know me, you cannot, you cannot be neutral about me. Either you will hate me or you will love me. Because there is one, only one important business in the world. It is the business of salvation. <laughs>
Abi ninyo igsoon, mo ni ang atong hisgutan, ni ining takna sa kahapunon. I would like to preach this afternoon about the seven dangerous love affairs. Ang lahat ay magsabing seven dangerous love affairs. My text, I took it from 1 John chapter 2, 15 to 17. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. These are very pointing words of God to every Christian that professes they are children of God even at this very moment right now. You know, as we live from day to day, pagkatay na mumuhay bawat araw bilang mga anak ng Diyos at bilang mga Kristiyano sa sanlibutan ito, tinawag tayo ng Panginoon, nilagay sa kanyang paanan, at mahal tayo ng ating Panginoon, at ang kanyang pagmamahal na yan ay papunta sa kaligtasan. Hindi nakakapahamak ang pagmamahal ng ating Panginoon. Bagkus ang kanyang pagmamahal ay nagbibigay ng kaligtasan sa bawat isa sa atin. Ngunit ang pagmamahal ng Panginoong yan ay may katumbas at may kaharap. Walang iba kundi ang pagmamahal naman ng kaaway sa atin. Alam ninyo, mahal din kayo ni Satanas. Hindi lamang kayo mahal ng Diyos, mahal din kayo ni Satanas. Ito ba mo na may iso? Wala lamang mo higugma sa Diyos, pati ang yawa na higugma sa inyo. When the Lord stretched forth His hands of mercy and grace, and then He says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. Take upon you my yoke, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. When He stretched forth His hand of invitation for you to come to Him, and says, Come to me, all ye that labor and are, and are heavily laden, that is God's love for you. Gugma to sa Diyos para maduol ka sa yaha. Para imong madawat ang iyang gugma. But also Satan, on the other hand, is also there, welcoming you, stretching forth his hand. Huwag mingon po si Satanas, umari ka na ako, ang tanan, na nakagusto sa sala, kay matahum ang sala, guwapo kayo ang sala, higugmaon ninyo ni, kay matahum ka ayaw ni. You know, he can only do that by means of allurements. That means, in our own language, temptations. Temptations are of Satan. He is the chief agent. God, the Lord, cannot tempt you. It is only Satan that is able to tempt because he was given the power. His power as an angelic being, being on the side of God, Lucifer in the very beginning, became Satan, the dragon, the arch enemy of God. And his chief source of power is the same power that God has given to him when he was an angelic being. But now he uses it to destroy the souls of men. Abi ninyo ang atong panimbahon, mura lang ni og fellowship, mura lang ni og kanang panagkatigom sama sa uban. Mura ay mong kasayop. This is not an ordinary service, it's not an ordinary fellowship. Whenever we come together to worship God, we are waging a spiritual battle against the devil. Hallelujah. Therefore, when we preach the word of God, we expect to have a change in the hearts of men and in the minds of men. When change begins to happen to you, then the spiritual battle is raging on. Because it is a, it is a spiritual battle between the forces of God and the forces of evil. This battleground is taking place in your mind and this battleground is taking place in your heart. Kining pakigubat, nagakaitabu sa inyong kasing-kasing, nagakaitabu sa inyong mga panghuna-huna between sa forces sa Diyos o sa forces sa kaaway. O kiniilaning nahibawaan. Why? Because we want to go to heaven. Everybody here that wants to go to heaven say praise the Lord. Everybody here that wants to go to heaven, raise your right hand. Lahat kayo gustong pumunta sa langit. I would like to tell you one story that you might have known already. 
Satan, Lucifer before, came from heaven. Right hand sa Diyos. Bumagsak sa sanlibutan ito sa pagkat nagrebelde siya sa Panginoon. At pagkatapos, galing siya doon. At kung sino ang kinaiinisan ng Diablo, ay walang iba, kundi ang mga taong gustong pumunta sa langit. Anong sinasabi ng Diablo? Kung ako galing doon, ibinigsak dito, pagkatapos kayo pupunta doon, kaya hihahad langan niya ang inyong mga daan. Babagan niya ang inyong mga dalan. Isa ako ganig ikan dito, ibundak din hi, kamunasadang mo ito dito, babagan ito mo. Huwag ito mo dito, manala pamuglain. Dili pwede na sa kuha. So ay ang babagan, ang tanayin yung dalan. Hadlangan niya ang lahat ng inyong mga daan sa pagkatayaw ng demonyo na kayo ay pumunta doon. Yan ang pinaka-ministry ng demonyo sa sanlibutan ito. At ngayon, mga kapatid, nakikita nila tayo. That's why sa paglilingkod na tunay sa Panginoon, merong mga paglilinis sa ating mga espiritu, sa ating mga isipan, sa ating mga puso. Bakit? Sapagkat sa mga paglilinis na yan, mga kapatid, nililinis tayo upang tayo ay mapapunta sa daan ng Diyos at gumawa ng kanyang kalooban upang sa tayo, kung tayo ay mapalabas na at haharap na tayo sa spiritual battle na gagawin ng demonyo sa ating mga buhay. No one is spared in this spiritual battle. There should be a change between God and the devil. It should be a, 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 a battle that is waged between him and God, between his forces and the forces of the enemy. There is only one winner. Alam natin yon. Meron lamang isa na talagang magtatagumpay. Walang iba kundi ang Panginoon. Nagtagumpay na nga siya doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Ngunit ang gera ay nagpapatuloy hanggang ngayon. And the devil's chief deception is this. Uh, the devil's chief tool and weapon is deception. Yan ang pinaka malaking sandata ng demonyo, ang deception sa ating mga isipan. In the Greek language, there are three kinds of love. First is what we call filio kind of love. Second is eros kind of love, and the third is called the agape kind of love. Feel your kind of love is love between our families, relatives, acquaintances, and friends. Eros kind of love is our fleshly love between our husbands and wives and, and, and lovers and sweethearts. Agape kind of love is the love that exists between God and those that He saved. Hallelujah. Yung dalawa kung doon tayo sa sandal, sa iros lamang at sa filyo, mabuti lang ang pag-ibig doon kung walang kapagsubukan. Ngunit yung makatawang pag-ibig, yung makalamang pag-ibig, pag kami kapagsubukan, lumilipad na yon. Nakadungog ba mo sa gisulti? Mahala nagsaging basta labing? Pagkatapos nagminyo yun sila, hala ng saging, basta labing. Kadugayan, gisulayan, ang ilang panaghinigug maay nga basta saging, basta labing. Nakuha na igsoon ang pagkaon, wanay bugas, wanay trabaho, wanay kwarta. Pagtanaw sa asawa, losyang na. Ang banay ni Guli, hubog. Ingnan siya sa ing asawa, Kutob karamanday sa saging dong. Nasukuwang ba na ang mga plato kaldero na himong flying saucer sa panimalay? Huwag mihingon ang asawa, magbuwag ta. Alang-alang magsigi na lang taginani ng watay pagkaon o watay trabaho. Mga matay ta, nihining kalakihan. Ang ilang gugma na bugto dito dayon. yun. Huwag mo. Nakabalita ba mo? Sa nagsakay og barko, nagsigig bako dito sa lubot sa barko. Taod-taod ni Ambak og nagbili og note, ingon siya tapuson ko na kining kalibutan. Tungod kay nagluib ang akong minahal sa kinabuhi. Kay nangita di eglain. Pag Ambak dito natapos ang iyang unod nung gugma. Kining duwa ka klasing gugma, 
dili mo lahutay. Ang mo lahutay, ang Diyos nung gugma lang. Hallelujah. Maayo lang ang tauhan ng gugma, maayo lang ang unod ng gugma, kung walay pagsulay. Pero kung nanay pagsulay, that will not be able to stand. That's why the Lord said, that everyone that say unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but those that do the will of my Father which is in heaven. He said, you that listen to my words and obeys them, I will liken you unto a man that built his house upon the rock. The rains came, the floods came, the winds came, the storm came, and swept upon that house, but it did not fall because it was founded upon the rock. But you that listens to my words and do not obey them, I will liken you unto a man that built his house upon the sand. It's the same thing that happened to those that are standing on the solid ground of obedience to the words of God also happens to those that listens to the words of God but does not obey them. They are exposed to the same elements of persecution. They are exposed to the, the same elements of trials and persecutions in their lives. Hangin bagyo paha ni hapak na bundak. Tanawan ninyo, sa wapay hangin, sa wapay bagyo, sa wapay pansulay, ang duha kabalay nagtindog. Kita ba ninyo mga kapatid? Nung wala pang kapagsubukan, nung wala pang trials, nung wala pang kahirapan, yung dalawang bahay na yon nakatayo. Ngunit nang dumating na ang bagyo, ang hangin, ang ulan, at pagkatapos sinipan ang bahay na yon isa sa kanila na natili at isa ay natomba. Bakit? Kasi yung natomba, yon ang nakatayo sa makalamang pag-ibig lamang. Yun ang nakatayo sa makamundong pag-ibig lamang. Yun ang nakatayo sa makataong pag-ibig lamang na tinatawag na eros and filio kind of love. Ngunit tingnan ninyo yung sumusunod sa kalooban ng Diyos na kanyang napakinggan, mga kapatid, kahit anong bagyo ang dumating, nakatayo pa rin siya, matibay, matatag, sa harap ng Diyos, sabagat siya ay nakatayo doon. The conclusion for that is when we obey the words of God, we really have come to know His real love. Obedience to the word of God is, is spelled love. L-O-B. Ano'y kugmang tinood? Mone gugma nga gustong ihatod sa Ginoo sa tuwa. Sa dia nana sa tuwa ng gugma ha, bisan pa. Saging nalay mong kaunon, di gyud ka malagpot sa kabubutong sa Dios. Di gyud ka mawa. Abi ninyo mga igsoon, sa dia mo duol mo sa Ginoo, usbon sa Dios ang inyong gugma. Ngano man, dili man lang ang Dios may naigugma ninyo, pati ang yawa na igugma sa inyo ha. Inigtan aw sa yawa nga inyong gugma kutob lang sa tawhanon, kutob lang sa unod nun, mukuha nang yawa sa iyang pana. Mo lang Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 20, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 20 tells us about the whole armor or weapon of the Christian. She have the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, your loins girt about with truth. On your left hand is the shield of faith. On your right hand is the sword of righteousness, which is the word of God. And on your feet, they are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Why? Because the Lord knows that when you serve Him, there is somebody that loves you and there is somebody that will hate you. Jesus loves you to the death. Even He gave Himself to that cross. And then He gave Himself for you and for me. But Satan hates you to the death also. Lahat ng bagay gagawin niya upang panain ka. Ngunit mapapana ka lamang ng demonyo pagka ikaw, kapatid, ay nasa dalawang klaseng pag-ibig na ito. Kailangang lumipat ka sa pangatlong klaseng pag-ibig. Paglipat natin sa pangatlong klaseng pag-ibig, alam ba ninyo kung ano mangyayari? There is a painful transition from the flesh to the spirit, from death to life. The painful transition is going to come. Jesus Christ hung on that cross, and the painful transition happened in the heart of Mary, His mother, in the flesh. When He saw Mary, His mother, on the flesh, and Jesus knew that He was going to transcend the boundaries of the flesh to the spirit, because He's going to go to heaven now. He told John, he said, 
he also told Mary, his mother, he said, Woman, he did not call her mother, he said, Woman, behold your son, son, behold your mother. That means, from now on, our filio, our eros kind of love is now ended. And we are now in the gravity and boundary of the love of God. Hallelujah. I will not call you mother anymore. I will not call you my mother anymore. I will call you woman. That means, is that disrespect? No, that's not disrespect. If you understand, that is a transition from the flesh to the spirit. From being human to being God. And so Mary from the time on did not recognize Jesus as his only son. But Mary was together with the 120 when they received the baptism in the Holy Ghost. Who gave the baptism in the Holy Ghost? It was Jesus who said, if I go not away, the Holy Spirit will not come. But if I go away, I will send you the promise of my Father. <laughs> Hallelujah! That is a painful transition. Sakit yun, mga kapatid. Some of you that have been transplanted from the world, to the Jesus Christ ministry are undergoing that painful transition. You know that? You recognize that? The devil knows that also. Ang uban sa inyo, gikan sa kalibutan, giibot. Mura mong tanong nga, giibot. Pagkatapos, gitanong sa bagong yuta. Abin ninyo sa'yo mahitabo sa giibot nga tanong, gibutang sa bagong yuta. Dili gina malipay. Sensitive kayo na sa init. Sensitive kayo na sa ulan. Pero kinanglan, muturok ka para mabuhi ka. Ang tanang mga game, man. Some of you are suffering spiritual shock. Lagi kayo mo sa kalibutan, gibot mo, gibutan mo diri. Some of you, when you go to America, will suffer what we call cultural shock. Pagabot niyo dito, lahi man niya sa akong environment. In your first three months in America, Ang imong bation, makuli na ko sa Pilipinas. Uy, ninyo humang kayo ng dapita. Pero sa di maka-adjust na ka sa Amerika, pagka humang six months, di na kaganahan pong muli din he. Ganahan na po ka dito. Sa inyo karon, sa dihang ka mo giibot sa Diyos, gikan sa kalibutan, wa mo maanad sa Espirituhan ng gugma, ang inyong naandan, unod ng gugma, tauhan ng gugma. Paganhin ninyo! Magkuganahan rin, puro Espiritu man ang niya rin. Pag ulang na, you begin to have roots in the spirit. Pagkahuman, sugod na, hindi na ka masyak. Masyak ka pa primero, kaya wakang kay lain na hibawang gugma. Apan ka ron, magsugod ka na. May balo sa tinood ng gugma sa tubangan sa Diyos. What happens to you when you begin to have the love of God in your heart? I will tell you later on in this message what happens to you when you begin to have the love of God in your heart. I'm still on my subject, the seven dangerous love affairs. You know, God's word says love is the highest attribute of mankind. It is greater than faith. It is greater than hope. It is greater than anything that's being preached from the word of God. It is even greater than doctrine. It is even greater than speaking in tongues. It is greater than everything else. This is a power that is greater than the power of the atomic bomb, the hydrogen bomb, the atomic bomb that were dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It is this power that will explode. It is this power that saved us. It is this power that will rupture us. But I will tell you, misplaced affection can be very dangerous. And I want to bring to you face to face the seven dangerous love affairs. The first love affair that is dangerous is when men shall be lovers of their own selves. According to 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 2, in the last days perilous times shall come when men shall be lovers of their own selves. Ang mga tao magmahigugmaon sa ilang kaugalingon. Delikado ang mahigugma ka sa imong kaugalingon. Kanang gugma nga makadaot. Di ba yung ginoo? Love your neighbor as yourself. That means you also love yourself. That's why you clothe yourself. You do everything for yourself because you love yourself. But the love that is perilous here is love that is 
dangerous. It's love that will destroy you. I believe psychologists call that narcissistic kind of love. You love yourself excessively to the hurt of others. You are so infatuated with yourself. Kinsa man sa inyo ang ninganhi nga nag-spend og duha ka oras at ubangan sa salamin. Mo nang nalita ko ba sa inyo? Sa iyo kayo mo. Alaw na pa, nagilis na mo. Pero pagkatubang nyo sa samin, taan man. Balik na po. Ang ispen ka duha ka oras. Ganahan kay ka mo tanaw sa iyong kaguling. Sa diyang ikaw mo tanaw picture sa grupo, kinsa may una, una ni mong pangitaon. Oh, you love yourself so much. <laughs> if you get bounded with that kind of narcissistic love, it will destroy you because you begin to be oblivious of everything around you. Wala ka nila yung naibawan kung dili ka na. Delikado na sa diyan ang tao may gugma sa iyong kaugalingon. Tungod sa gugma sa tao sa iyong kaugalingon mo, patay na siya iyong isig ka tao. Tungod sa gugma sa tao sa iyong kaugalingon mo, tamak na siya sa ulo sa uban. Tungod sa gugma sa tao sa iyong kaugalingon, igsoon, di na siya managana sa pagbati sa uban. Kanang gugma ha, nag-stem, gikan sa usakad, tapit sa atong kasing-kasing, nagiturok sa yawa, ug miingon, higugma may iyong kaugalingon, kung nai mo dumot ni mo, dumti sa siya. Kung ngayon mo hapak ni mo, hapakasad siya. That is in contrast with the love of God. What does the love of God says? Sagpa ka diri, itahan ang tigas. Gilabay ka ang bato! Pas ni Ong, dinapay. That's God's condition for you. But when you have an excessive love for self, that is called narcissistic kind of love, you have the conditions in your hands. What are your conditions? If you're good to me, I'm good to you. But if you are not good to me, I will not be good to you. That's your conditions when you love yourself. But when you love God, that's not your condition. When you love God, you begin to love your neighbor as yourself. The conditions are with Him. Anong kumatubang mo sa Diyos? Ang Diyos may nagagunit ang kondisyon sa inyong kinabuhi. Don't condition God when you serve Him. Sa diyan tauhanon ka pa, ang gugma na focus sa imong kaugalingon, mo na may pagka-self-centered ka. You know, self-centered people, if they are not being, uh, if they are not being uh, uh, the center of attraction of everything, di na gusto. That means, may excessive love ka pa, nakalaban sa love sa Diyos. Hmm. Hello? Hello? Are you listening? You get me? mo na ang kondisyon na pa sa imuha. Ang but pa sa but, ang himaya wa pa ni mo itugyan sa Diyos. You have not given God the glory. You are still holding the condition on yourself. But when the painful transition from the flesh to the spirit begins to happen to you, then chains begin to take place in your heart, your conditions begin to change. You give God the glory. And you let God say those same words to you. I am God. And God says, Son, daughter, I love you. If you love me and keep loving me, I will love you and keep loving you. But if you turn away from me and do not continue to serve me, I will also turn away from you and will not save you. If you are able to let God say that to you, then you already have transferred from death unto life from flesh to the Spirit. You begin to serve God with a submissive heart. You begin to understand the love of God that passes all understanding. Hallelujah! Ano man, tungkol kayo ang Diyos, mas dako sa tuwa. You cannot send conditions before God. You say, I'm rich. Oh, I'm filthy rich. God is richer than you. He owns all the cattle on a thousand hills. He owns all the silver and the gold. He owns all the mountains. He owns everything that you don't see and you can see. He owns everything that is visible and invisible. He owns the universe. You know how many there are in the universe? 
There are billions and billions and billions of stars in the universe. And they are 10,000 times bigger than our planet Earth. And they are all on their own orbits. And they are not, and they are only suspended in the, in the, in the air. They are suspended in the firmament. Nothing is holding them, but they keep on their own orbits. Who is the mastermind that does that for us? It is the God that loved us. Who was, who is me? Who is you? What are we in the sight of God? We are just nothing. We came from the, we came from the dust and to the dust we shall return. We are just a speck in this world. Yet God pointed his lock towards us in that he gave his only begotten son. That if you believe in him, you will not pass but have everlasting life. How great the love of God is for us. When you are immersed in the love of God, you take off from the bounds of self-love and you now go into the bounds and gravities of the love of God. Then you are lost in that love. Malimtan mo na yung kaugalingon. That's why Jesus Christ said, ang nagapangita sa yung kaugalingon mamatay. Ang magawagtang sa yung kaugalingon makakaplag pag-usab sa kinabuhi. Ang nagapagita sa yung kinabuhi, mawagtangan hinoon ni ini. He that findeth his life shall lose it, but he that loseth his life shall find it. You know, I will interpret that before you. He that findeth his own love is going to lose it, but he that loseth his own love, that is fleshly, that is eros, and that is, ag uh, that is a filio, shall find it. What do you find? Agape. Maputos ka na sa gugma sa Diyos. Makalimot ka na sa imong kaugalingon. Ang imong gugma. Mahimo ng gugma sa Diyos. That's why you begin to have a new perspective in life. Whereas before, you only love yourself. You only love your own circle of friends. You only love your own cliques. You only love those that you want to love. But now that you are in the love of God, when you look at all other people, whether they are qualified in your kind of love or not, it does not matter anymore. You begin to love the lovable and lovable. You begin to love the unlovable. Hallelujah. You love my preaching? You love me preaching like this? Yes. Hallelujah. I want to preach to please God. I do not please men. Because if I begin to please men, I cease to become a servant of God. The God who calls me says, Preach the word without fear or favor. Preach the word to them. Preach the truth to them. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And dangerous love affair is the love of money. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 10 says, The love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money caused the rich young ruler to turn away from Christ. The apostle warns that those who covet after money have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Ang gugma sa salapi. You know, money is not evil. There is a difference between the preaching of others and my preaching. Because others says, Money! It is the root of all evil! Kanas kibuloy! Perti na, may impyerno na. Ano na, may impyerno mas kibuloy? Kay daghang kwarta na! Dili makapa impyerno ang kwarta. In fact, gusto sa Diyos, dagan mong kwarta. Kinsay usa din hinga gusto ng daghang kwarta. Nuwa daw na sila ng asin ng kamot. <laughs> Dili mga igsoon ang kwarta, may dautan. Ang gugma sa kwarta. Because of the love of money, many people, many girls have sold themselves to become prostitutes. Because of the love of money, some hired killers were hired for 500 pesos to kill those that they consider their enemy. Because of the love of money, many people go to abroad. They sacrifice their faith, they sacrifice their chastity, they sacrifice their dignity, and they sacrifice their honor. At to sila kwaid, ipang rey. Ipang tadyakan sila mga amo. Dili pa basahog Biblia. Tungod sa gugma sa dalap. Tungod sa gugma sa kwarta, daghang mga ministry ang nahulog. In our ministry, we want 
much money because we want to use it for the glory of God. But, there is a big but. We don't love money. We use money, but we don't love money. Money is our servant, never our master. Money is a very, very good servant, but it is a very hard master. Ang kwarta ay son, pakigigog man nimo, man ay musugo nimo mga awat ka, man ay musugo nimo nga mamuring ka, man ay musugo nimo nga magbuhat ka sa di kabubuton sa Diyos, man ay magsugo nimo nga mag-under the table ka, man ay musugo nimo tanan, apan kung ang kwarta ay mong sulugoon, guwapong sulugoon ang kwarta. Amen? Ang gugma sa kwarta, dili ninyo kasagdan nga may mudaot sa inyo nga tungod niya na biyaan ninyo ang kabubuton sa Diyos. Sa atong ministry, we welcome all of you to give but there is no strings attachment. It is tabu in this ministry to give and you put strings attachment to what you give. When you give here, you give for the Lord. You give for His glory. You don't give your money to me, you give it to Him. And then we will use it to His glory. Pero sa iyang himaya. Amen? Doon ayon sa kahiga yun? Evangelist pa ko na misita ko gilokos. Tapos, I was scheduled to preach there. When I went into the church, ipaila-ila sa kuwa to mga elders. These are the elders of the church. So on, so on, so on. Then, after one day, naglakaw-lakaw ko sa 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 plaza kay Dako'y palitong sindahan. Naon sa mga nakita na kong elder naglakaw-lakaw po dito sa dalan ang tinustos tabako dako kayo. Karabit ang tinustos sa Ilocano. Diyato na ako ang pastor. Hindi po pastor. Katungin mo elder pagkat akong tinustos. Elder ba to siya? Di ba po ito elder niyo? Eh siya pastor. Ay ksaba. Hindi ko magwali ko pagkabalaan rabaw niya. Magwali ko batok sa bisyo niya. Si Pastor, ay lagig ah. Ay lagsaba. Ibasig mawad ang kubugas. <laughs> Gihigog man niyang bugas kaysa kalag sa tao. Oo, oh, igun na ako. Brad, dili, kinahanglan. Ang elder may maghinulso nun as tanan. Ikaw! You must repent as a pastor if you do that! Because you put strings attachment on everything that they give for you. You are not preaching for the love of their soul. You are preaching for the love of what they give. I told the pastor squarely in his eyes, you love not their soul, but you love what they give. Hindi ka natuwa na kung tawag pastor niya. Ako nang siyang tawag Brad. Bili siya ngayon may mong pastor. Ako nagwali para siya kaluwa sa inyong kalag. Wa ko mahigugma sa inyong ginahatag ko na inyong tuyo dili kaluwasan. Kung ano inyong tuyo sa kaluwasan, kaluwasan sa inyong kalag, welcome ang tanan inyong ginahatag, labi na gihatag ninyo na para sa ginoo. Ang gugma sa salapi, makadaot. Mga katauhan, makadaot na mga kaigsunan. Gamito na itong salapi, pero dili gud na itong higugma ng salapi. Amen. Because of the love of money, Balaam cursed the people of God. Propeta ni siya. Because of the love of money, iyang gitunglo ang mga katawahan sa Diyos. Itagaan sa gisuhulan siya. Muna, against kaya po mga magwawaling sinuhulan. Sinuhulang mga magwawaling. Huh? Ako'y talagang laban na laban sa mga sinuhulang mga ngaral, mga kapatid. I am very vocal about this. I preach in this pulpit like I, I preach to you candidly without fear or favor. Pagkatapos uh, sinasabi ko ito, sapagat kung nakakarinig kayo ng pangangaral na ganito, magpasalamat kayo sapagat may natitira pang mga matutuwid na mga ngaral na nangangaral talaga ng katotohanan. Bakit ko nasabi yan? Sapagat napakarami ng mga nangangaral ngayon at ang kanilang pangangaral ay hindi sa pamamagitan ng katwiran ng Diyos. Ngunit ang kanilang pangangaral ay sa pagibig lamang ng salapi. Kaya yeah, napakabait nila so doon sa mga nakakapagbigay sa kanila but they don't watch for their souls. Mga kapatid, hindi lamang binabantayan natin dito ang tithes and offering, kundi ang binabantayan natin number one dito, yung kaluluwa ninyo. 
Kaya merong isang member noon, hindi ko nasasabihin ng kanyang pangalan, nagbibigay siya ng malalaking tithes and offering. Ngunit nakikita ko na yung pagbibigay niya ngayon ay parang bribe na sapagat ayaw niyang umalis sa kanyang kasalanan. Isang araw, tinawag ko siya at sinabi ko, Kapatid, hindi ko natatanggapin ang tithes and offering mo kung hindi ka magbabago sa harap ng Diyos. Praise God. Namulat siya, mga kapatid. At sinabi ko sa kanya, I'm sorry, kailangan ko ang tithes and offering, ngunit kung yan ay binibigay mo upang sa pangangaral ko, hindi na kita pangangaralan pa. Sorry, mahal ko ang kaluluwa mo kahit sa pera ang binibigay mo. Kailangan mahalin mo rin ang kaluluwa mo kaysa perang ibinibigay mo. The third dangerous love affair is the love of the praise of men. Take heed that ye do not your arms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, he said, you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Anong sinabi niyo sa Matthew chapter 6 verse 3? Sabi niya, huwag ninyong mahalin ang mga pagpupuri ng tao. I am not here to please you. I am here to preach to you and to love you and to love your soul. Wala ko miyan ni para higugmaon para higugmaon ako ang iyong mga pagdaig. Wala ko miyan ni para pahimutan tamo mga kaigsunan. Wala ko itaong ipahimutan ang ako ipahimutan bugtong ang Diyos lamang. Hallelujah. Dili ko manegana sa pagwaling sa manini sa inyo ha. Tungod kay na hibalo ko nga ang inyong kalag kikinahanglan mawala sa bandaid sa yawa. Kinahanglan makadungog ang kalibutan karon bisan pa kamong na sa tubangan sa inyong television bisan asa mo ning kalibutan na karon ang kikinahanglan ninyo mabadbaran mo sa gapus sa yawa wala ko miyan hi para inyong pakpakan ug para pahimutan ta mo nga kun di ta mo pahimutan igsuon malain mo sa kuha hindi ako pumunta rito pang maging kalugod-lugod una sa lahat sa tao but i am a very good man And I love people. That's why I have so many members all around the Philippines and even in other countries. I love people. I love their souls. But I am not here to seek your praises. Hallelujah. I only believe you when you follow the will of God. I was in Bacolod once. May lumapit sa akin. Ingong siya sa kuwa. Pastor! You are the best preacher in the world. Go praise God, praise the Lord. To God be the glory. Pero sinabi ko, he was he kept on telling me that three times na. Patao sinabi ko, dinala ko siya sa corner. Sister, maniniwala lamang ako. Ako ang the best preacher in the world. Kung after five years babalik ako dito sa Bacolod at ikaw ay nasa paglilingkod pa rin. Hallelujah. Do you believe I'm the best preacher in the world? Do you believe that? Ang tuwa ba mo ako'y pinakamaayong magwawalis di mo kalibutan? Ang tuwa lamang ko niya na kung mawa akong isa katuwig diri pero naalang yapon mo. Hallelujah. Pero na ay mga kongregasyon ni Kawalas Pastor, mawa na po ng membro. Puro niya ito niya ang pastor. Sige lagi kong bapulat niya ang pag-aaral, pastor. Pero pagkawa niya, nawa na po ng member. Wala sila matindog sa Diyos. Natindog sila sa pastor. Dinhi sa itong pag-alagad. Dili. Nakatindog mo sa bato. Nga walay lain kung dili. Si Kristo. Monang kada Domingo, dili man ninyo makita yung mga ma, ma, pastor magwali din hi, apa nagpabilin lang yapon mo nining panimbahon, bisan pag tapes na lang yung makita, bisan lain na nagatindog din hi, apa ninyong kadasig mo rasa gihapon, praise God. Ang inyong pagpupuri sa Panginoon, nananatiling ganun pa rin, napakainit pa rin ninyo, matatag pa rin kayo, sa ang paglilingkod ninyo ay hindi makataong paglilingkod, hindi pag-ibig na makatao, kundi ang inyong paglilingkod ay makadiyos sa harap ng Diyos. Kayo ay nakatayo at nakatayo sa Kanyang kabangyarihan. Hallelujah! My preaching is not according to the demonstration of the power of man, but according to the demonstration of the power of the Spirit. My preaching is not to entice you with men's words that are so eloquent and flowery. You get off your feet and say that man is an eloquent preacher. My preaching is for you to know that you have stand to stand on the power of God. Come what may. 
You are still there serving him, praising him, obeying him, and worshiping him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Doon ko lamang masasabi mga kapatid na ako ay isang tunay na tunay na mga ngaral. Pagka kayo ay napatayo na sa ibabaw ng kalakasang yan na kahit wala na kayong taong nakita, nag-worship pa rin kayo in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Sabi ng Panginoon, these are the people that God is seeking after. Those that worship Him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Men love darkness rather than light. This is one of the scourges of these dangerous love affairs. Mas gigugma sa tao ang kangit-ngit kaysa ang kaayag, kahayag. Now, Daniel files a picture of evil of, of uh, the sin's night. You know, the night is coming and the day is also coming. In Isaiah, people ask the watchman, watchman, what of the night? Because in Israel, there are watchmen. Their cities are walled cities. And on every corner of those walled cities, there are towers. And on those towers are watchmen that are set by the elders of the city to watch for the city even at night. When the city sleeps, those watchmen are not asleep. They are ready with their trumpets. When an, en an enemy is approaching, they sound those trumpets. Hallelujah. To warn the people inside. The night is coming. What is night? The night is coming. And that is the night of the great tribulation. But the day is also coming for us. What is this? This is the day of the coming rapture. This is the, the resurrection morning. This is when we see him face to face. And when we are able to say, Oh God, I love you. I am now able to see you. Oh hallelujah, Jesus. I am going to come to meet you up in the air according to what you promised. This is the resurrection morning for us. This is the day in which it is approaching. But when that day is going to come, the night is also going to sweep away this world. We are just the people that turns back the darkness. Tayo lamang ang mga tao dito na sinasabi natin sa darkness, huwag muna sapagkat may mga tao ibig pang maligtas. Mga kapatid, huwag nating mahalin ang sanlibutan. Huwag ninyong mahalin ang anumang kalaban ng Diyos. Huwag ninyong mahalin ang anumang hindi kalooban ng Diyos. Ang mahalin lamang ninyo yung mga uh, kaliwanagan ng Diyos. Ang mahalin ninyo yung liwanag ng Diyos. Yung kanyang mga banal na salita. Hallelujah. Do not love darkness. Do not love evil. Hallelujah. Men love darkness because their deeds are evil, the Bible says. Men love darkness and their foolish hearts are darkened. Men love darkness and they do not love God nowadays. Asa mo kadungugan ng, oh, dili na panahon karon sa Kristo, panahon na karon sa listo. Kamong na nagsimba di as katitipan, buntag ng hapon, manguli mo gabi ina, tibokadlaw na mo diha, bantay mo, basik mong lapas mo sa langit. Panahon na sa Ninoa. Si Noah nagpatukod o garka. Ingon siya ang tanan kaninyo. Kinamaginusot, mubalik sa Diyos. They laughed at him. They persecuted him. They put him on trial. And they did every evil thing conceivable for a man to do against his fellow man. And while Noah was building the ark, the Bible says men were given 120 years in which to turn away from their iniquities and sin and then turn to God and say, Lord, we repent of our sins. We don't want to be in that uh, in the judgment hour when it comes. But they didn't believe Noah. Ilan na naligtas sa panahon ni Noah? Walo. Sa panahon sa Sodom at Gomora, dalawang malalaking sudan, ilan ang naligtas? Tatlo na lang ang natira. I can count them my own one hand. Apat, naging tatlo na lang dahil si Mrs. Lot, mamahal sa sanlibutan ito. Don't you ever forget that. Do not love the world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of God, it is of the devil. You must fill yourself with the love of God. You must fill yourself with the words of God. Fill your mind, fill your heart, fill your mental, fill your emotional with the words of God. Wherever you are, the words of God is going to protect you. That's why it's so important that you immerse yourself in the service like this, listening to the words of God and letting the words of God suck in through you and your spirit. Ano man, ay ka na may mahimong shell. Lust of the eyes, 
Grabe ang yawa ka ron. 24 hours, we are being bombarded by the advertisement of the devil. That's why if there is no church that would compete with the devil, what are we in the world? Wala tayong match sa yawa. Limang ka mga advertisement sa yawa, pagkadag ko mga billboards, pagkadag ko yun kayo na. Oh, unsay kita sulti, when it, is, when it comes to sin, the devil is a perfect advertiser. Tanaw yung mga billboard kita ko kayo, pagkadaga na yung mga uh, advertisement niya para sa mga sin products, pareha sa bino, pareha sa mga sigarilyo, ma-entice ka giyod, you give yourself, you give your money without the devil telling you to. Because he has advertised his sin products for you. And then you are enticed and do it without knowing it that you are already in the trap of the enemy. Sa imong buha ko, kita ni mo, dako kayo billboard. Kung sa kisulti dito, dako kayo mga muscle. Para sa tunay na lalaki, matso. Red horse. Inom po ka red horse. It's cool to be clear. As I've been up there. Unsa pa yung mga advertisement sa sigarilyo? Uy, kamay pa yun. Ah, Marlboro Country. Bugnaw ka ayo. Inigsunod sa imong baga. Ingo nang yawa. Bugnaw lagi na unya. Matso pagi kay katanawan. Pirting lamian ibo. Di ka sa etyas old ka na. Nigarilyo ka na. Hangtod na himo kang 45 years old. Pagka 45 ni mo, you already have the covers, uh, uh, you, have already, you already have the smoker's cuff. Bisa nga isip pun, sige ko mo. Kadugay, hindi na matabang. Ito ka sa hospital. Tapos sikso, hindi ka nakatindog. Kaya sakit kain mong likod, hindi ka nakalakang. Ugo sa kalakang, muhanga ka. Lalong lang kay gininawan. Taksa lang kalakang, di ka nakalakang. Do, kung sa may akong diferensya, talimang ka, pino, left and right, kasaptan ka si Garilyo, kapino pag yun, hala, habang nani ni Garilyo, sige namang inom ng, ano, ng alat, palagi yan, left and right, oh, kalahati ng kanyang sweldo, inuubos doon, may barkada ba? Walang hinto yan. Pagkatapos na convert yung asawa niya, nagbibigay ng tights, butakan pag uli. Nga nung gigasto ni mo suway hinungdan? Ang akong kwarta, tights good to iso, pero sa sigarilyo, why, hinung, why sa payan? Pagkatapos na kasakit, pagkabot sa panahon nga nagkasakit, ang yawa magsigi katawa, kay nakakuha na sa advertisement sa yawa para niya ng sala. Ang yawa, ang mga muti yun, 45, huwag minsan, palit og sigarilyo, wa si mag- palit og beer, wa magiging unang yawa ni mo, na advertise niya sa imo, na bombarded ang imong mga mata, unya na hilo ang imong kalag, o busa, na atik ka kadugan, di ka nang kagawas. Kung gusto na ka magawas, di ka pwede, hantod nga, ang imong baga, mo na nag-uling nga ni Gahi, tapos niya ito ka sa ospital. After one week, Balik ang doktor. Dok! Kung sa man. Ingo ng doktor, di ara ang examination sa x-ray. Anak, uh, mister, kung sa man, dok, ang imong x-ray, all clear. All clear, praise God. No lungs. You have one week to live. You have one week to live. And the devil told you, you have succumbed to my tricks and now there is no point of returning. You have crossed the point of no return. I will wait for you in one week in the fiery torments of hell. Bye-bye. Ha, 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 ha. Samson loved pleasure more than he loved God. He is a wise man of God who said, he is the wisest man of all Solomon. He fell into the trap. Because of his 1,000 wives, he fell before, the, uh, before uh, the devil and before God. You know, uh, when the devil uses temptation for pleasure, he uses many, many things. He will give you the lure. Kanang taga ba? Nga na ay paun. Ano announce sa demonyo sa mo? The lure of the forbidden fruit. Forbidden fruit. Kanang gidili, maunay lami. Amen? 
mga bana, faithful ba mo sa inyong mga asawa? Mga asawa, faithful ba mo sa inyong bana? Lami ba na? Lami ra ba daw na ka nandi ka faithful sa inyong mga asawa? Pero ka na ikson, gidali sa Diyos. Sa inyong matintal mo na. Genesis 3.6 Si Eva ni Kaon, dihatag sa iyong bana. Tapos nakasala sila, nahulog diha sa kabubuton sa Diyos. The lure of fertile soils, kamu gusto mo abroad, kung nakasiguro mo nga sa abroad, dili mo musuwag sa pagalagat sa Diyos, ay mo pagatog abroad, ay mo pagingon sa mga Arabo. Uy, mga Arabo, ang inyong mga, masa to? Dinar, dinar, dinar. Mga hapon, mga yen, mga yen. Paguli ninyo diri, diya payuki na mo. Pag adto ninyo dito, kristohanon kayo mo. Hinhin kayo, anak giyot sa ginoo. Pagbalik diri, ang kabila, blue. Brown, yellow, green. Pagkatapos, ikso, lahat yung nagliko. Hindi ka mabutot sa Diyos. Kung sa man ang kwarta, ha? Kung naglisod mo diri, pero may makaayo ninyo sa pagalagat ninyo, diri mo mga itrabaho sa ginotagahan mo niya. The lure of appetite. Ha? The lure of appetite. Isang appetite. Isa sa klaseng appetite. Ha? Ano mang klaseng appetite? Appetite ng pagkain, ng malalaking kum- malak- malalakas kumain. Huwag kayong kumain para kumain ng kumain. Tayo ay kumakain para mabuhay. Hindi tayo nabubuhay para kumain. The lure of appetite. Ano mang appetite? Appetite ng excessive appetite. Ng ano mang bagay, hindi maganda. The lure of silver and gold. The lure of woman. According to 1 Kings 11, to 4 there are many, many servants of God who fell because of the lure of woman. Mga babae, mag-ingog, amen. Ang tanang butang babae, mag-ingog, amen. Ang dili kayo butan, mag-ingog, praise the Lord. Mga babae, ginagamit mo sa gino. Dagan sa akong ministry, ginagamit sa gino. Mga babae, ang atong mga district coordinator, puro babae. Pero mga babae, nagpagamit sa gino. Hinluan sa gino. Mga babae, sa'yo, di mo careful, kamoy gamitin sa yawa. Hmm? Mauna, ipahinlo ninyong number one sa Diyos. Lord, hinlo ako! Ikaw na gino. Nga naman! Ambot lang, gino! Kung nga nung iniglakaw na ako niya na ako magkitang lalaki, nga kinang akong lubot mo, kiyay, kiyay, magyot! <laughs> Ingo lang ginoo, di ba na naman kay Bana? Maulag gina, ginoo! Everybody say, praise the Lord. Mga worker, labi na mga lalaki, ipahinlo sa dangin yung mga mata. Agi na ang usa na master yun, gigamit sa yawa. On say na ito mo! Gino! Hinluwag yun ang akong mata. Gano man! Ambot nga nung makahulong mangyugog trabaho, hindi kakita na ako sa kababay mo kaya kaya yung mabot. Papun ah ang mga word of God sa inyong mga hunahuna, sa inyong mga kasing-kasing, sa inyong kinabuhi, sa inyong kalag, sa inyong espiritu! Ingon dahil ng worker kaminyo matagahatan eh. Idala ko yung soon niya sa Cebu, sa, sa Tambuli Beach. Habi na kung saan ang Tambuli Beach. Missionaryo po ang nagdala sa buwa. Di ay kay Beach na sa mga foreigners. Habi ninyo yung soon na siyak ko. Nagsafer kong siyak. Kaya nga no, dahil na kung natuan nga Beach, dili nga to kabol. Tungkol kay mga foreigners, kung aming cottage, pag-agi pa lang na kung soon, di na kung ka liho. Nagganganan lang ako. Nga naman, talimang ka mga foreigners, mga Japanese, mga American woman, mga European, they wore skimpy clothing in the beach. Huh? 
kining ilang dinhi, wag yun na itabon ang gitabon ka ng mga gagmay bitang bulak. Hidikit lang. Pa, pa. Pagkatapos ang diristubangan, triangle, string pa. Nag-sunbathing. Ingong ko, mupiyong ba ko? Dili ko mupiyong. Kaya bisan mupiyong kag nakakita na ka, ang second look mo na idilikado. Hmm. Naglakaw na ba mo di asdala, nakakita mo bomba nga advertisement ayawa para sa bunga sa unod. Lakaw na ka na, kakita kag bomba sa sinihan. Lakaw na ang kwapong anak sa Diyos. Sometimes the first look is a very innocent look because you did not intend to look. But when you stop and then take the second look, that is what is going to impress upon your mind if you are not careful. The Bible says he that looketh on a woman to lust after her had committed adultery in his heart already. Jesus Christ said that. Pauti papuno diri sa imuha. So, bisan tu ako dito sa bits, na halos wa sila itabon, wa ako magpiyong sa akong mata, medyo nasiyak lang ko ngayon nato kaliberal ang mga tao dito, pero wa na ako ipiyong akong mga mata, ang word of God, mo ay nagpibilin nga akong nakita. Antod garon ang inyong pastor, nagatindog din hi, nagawali sa pulong sa Diyos, para sa kaluwasan sa mga kalag. Hallelujah! The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh and the pride of life is not of the Father. It is of the world. Do not love pleasure like Belshazzar. Hinom, pleasure na. Tanan, pagka Domingo, imbis matong simbahan, matunay nung diskuhan. Pag-araw ng linggo, instead na makikita mo dito, nagpupuri sa harap ng Diyos, nagsasamba sa Espiritu at katotohanan. Iba-ibang mga plano. Punta tayo ng sinihan. Punta tayo ng diskuhan. Punta tayo ng beats. Punta tayo doon. Ganito. At tayo ay titingin ng mga games. Ganon at ganito. Do not love bless you more than you love God. You must love God. You must set an appointment with the Lord. And the Lord's appointment with you is already written in His Word. He said, make holy the day of rest, which is Sunday. That is when you worship Him in spirit and in truth. That is when you say, Lord, I love you. You must make that day for Him. Hallelujah. And you know if you have the love of God in your life, love God. It's also dangerous to love God. Why? Because you are required not to love yourself even unto the death. Hanggang sa kamatayan, sinasabi ng mga nakulatan, huwag mong mamahalin ang sarili mo ako rin to. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Pagka ikaw ay nasa sa harap na ng Panginoon, minamahal mo na siya like the three Hebrew children. Anong ginawa ng three Hebrew children? Even in there, in the midst of an idolatrous nation like Babylon, they kept on to their faith. They were faithful to the Lord. They kept on serving Him until envious people around them uh, set their eyes on those three Hebrew children because they hold high positions as governors in the provinces of Babylon. They were envied upon by their enemies and they made the, and they deceived the king and the king made a decree that in 30 days they will make a statue for the king and all of the inhabitants of Babylon, all of the population that are found in that place shall worship the image that the king has set up. He that will not worship shall be put to the death. And they know the three Hebrew children will not compromise. And their strength is going to be their downfall. Their enemies said. But they continued on. Even it was dangerous to love God in an idolatrous country like Babylon. They kept on serving God. And when the statue was put up, the time has come when all instruments of music were sounded. When they were sounded, the cornets, the harp, the flute, the trumpets, and all kinds of music were sounded. That is a sign that all of the people that hears the sound shall bow down and kneel before the statue. Before that idol. Not the three Hebrew children because they only served one God. It was dangerous to serve God. But they still did it. The seventh dangerous love affair. You will not love yourself unto the death. Although it will hurt. Alam ninyo mga kapatid, pagka minamahal ninyo ang Diyos, kuminsan nasasaktan na yung inyong makataong pag-ibig. Nasasaktan na yung inyong makalamang pag-ibig sa pakatang Diyos nang mabubuhay sa inyo. Hindi lamang masasaktan ang inyong makalamang pag-ibig, ang inyong makataong pag-ibig, 
mamamatay pa yan. Ipapako sa krus. You will crucify the flesh together with all of the passions thereof. They that are in Christ have crucified the flesh together with the lusts thereof. Ipapako mo ngayon. Pak! Pak! Masakit. Pero kalooban ng Diyos. Dangerous. Hindi lang dangerous. Mamamatay ka pa talaga. In three Hebrew children, they put themselves on the line. And then they were taken captives and they were put on that fiery furnace. And that fiery furnace was heated seven times as it was one to be heated. So to make sure they die. But the Lord Jesus Christ fellowship with them because they were faithful even unto the death. They kept this uh, dangerous love affair with the Lord. Delikado rin umibig sa Panginoon. Kung minsan, kamumuhian ka sa pamamagitan ng pag-ibig mong yan. Kung minsan, ipepersecute ka na dahil sa pag-ibig mong yan. Ngunit magpapatuloy ka. Huwag mong ipatuloy yung alim sabagat yun ay nakakasira. Ipagpatuloy mo yung pag-ibig mo sa Panginoon. Ang pag-ibig na yan ay makapagliligtas. The Lord was with them. Nang sinilip ng mga assistant ng hari at ang hari sinabi niya, Did we not throw three men in the fiery furnace? Yes, O king, but I have seen four. Who is that fourth one? He is resembling like, uh, his resemblance is like the son of man. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, are you still alive? We are still alive, O king, because our God saved us. Sabi niya, lumabas kayo riyan. Nang lumabas sila, mga kapatid, sinabi ng banal na kasulatan, hindi man nangamoy, pati ang kanilang baro, pati ang kanilang buhok, hindi man nangamoy. Lumabas sila at pinuri ng Panginoon. Dinakip yung mga na, 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 na envy sa kanila. Tapos tinapon doon at kinain ng apoy. Alam ninyo, pagka kayo naglilingkod sa Panginoon, hindi lahat sa bed of roses. Sometimes you suffer persecution. Sometimes you suffer misunderstanding. You are misunderstood because you love God. And when you stand in this uh, sin-sick, darkened world, in this crooked world, sometimes you become a prey. You stand on righteousness, you become a prey to these crooked people. You stand and preach the word of God, and many calls you a cult. And many says you are of the devil. That is one of the dangers of loving God. But I will still continue, not only by being smeared, not only by being character assassinated, but I will continue on even to the death. If it is possible, if it, God requires for me to lay down my honor, to lay down my life, to lay down my everything before Him, if that is the requirement that God requires me on the last day, I say, I will not compromise. I will still serve Him. I will still continue to praise Him. At change nangyayari ngayon, inaalis na ng Diyos yung mga pag-ibig na nakakasira na mabuti lamang kung walang kapagsubukan. Ngunit ibibigay ng Panginoon sa inyong pag-ibig na kahit subukan kayo, na kahit ugahin pa kayo, na kahit bagyuhin pa kayo, na kahit anong mangyari sa inyo, hindi kayo natitinag sa inyong pag-ibigan. Pagkatapos, ibinigay na inyo lahat ang kapurihan sa Panginoon. Lord, I have no more conditions in serving you. All conditions I put into your hands. All conditions I put into your feet. Lord, sabi ng Lord sa'yo, Anak, if you love me, I will love you. If you're good to me, I'll be good to you. If you stay with me, I will. Why? Because you already have a love that transcends all the boundaries. It's the love of God. Pero nung makaluma pa at ating pag-ibig, makatawap at makalaman, tayo ang humahawak sa kondisyon sapagat tayo ang mataas hindi ang Panginoon. Ngayon, mataas na ang Panginoon sa atin. Kaya siya ang may kondisyon sa buhay natin. We are now love slaves of the Lord. I am your love slave, O God. I will do your will without any condition because you are the owner of my salvation. You own the heavens and the earth. You own my body. You own my soul. You own my spirit. You are the one who created me. I give you the glory right now. Ano man ang gawin mo sa akin, Panginoon? Kumibu ka man sa akin o hindi? Hindi na ako magtatampo. Pag alanalangin ako, kumibu ka sa akin o hindi? Hindi na ako magtatampo. I will give you all the rights and the freedom and the conditions, O oh Lord, because I love you! And I want to submit myself to you. 
there is an arrogant man in this world, maybe I am one of them. When I've come to know the will of God and the love of God, I've heard somebody preach about the love of God. I went to the altar and I bowed like a little baby with tears streaming down my cheeks. I said, Lord, I would give you my life and I will serve you and I will humble myself and accept you. And whatever you want me to do according to your will, I will do it. You are my master. I am your servant. Will you be able to say that to the Lord right now? Lord, you are my master and I am your servant. Lord, you won't please me. I will please you. Will you be able to say that? From now on, Lord, don't please me. I will please you. What's pleasing to you that I will do. Because the conditions have been reversed. I am not the master anymore. You are. I am your servant. You are my master. Pagka nasabi na ninyo yan, mga kapatid, nasa sa tamang pag-ibig na rin. Darating ang panahon, kukunin kayo ng Panginoon at sasabihin, ito ang mahal kong anak na sumusunod sa aking kalooban. Minahal ko siya at minahal din niya ako at ibinigay ang lahat ng kabuhihan para sa akin. Praise God. You that are on your television sets, I would like to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever you need at this very moment, you need the love of God most of all. I pray that the love of God that transcends all boundaries of the flesh come into your heart and fill you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. From now on, Holy Father, not my will, but your will be done. I said, Father, you have chosen me. Give me the strength to obey. I will follow you no matter what it takes. If you know me, you cannot, you cannot be neutral about me. Either you will hate me or you will love me. Because there is one, only one important business in the world. It is the business of salvation. <laughs>